Okay, I've got my substrate here to uh, tie the bucktail hair on. This is a brass tube I cut with a little pipe cutter and then filed the ends so there are no burrs on there. This is a piece of thick spring wire. It, it's actually music wire. This is a vise, of course. So I'm going to tighten this so it doesn't roll by levering it this way and then cranking it and let's see that's that's pretty good there I've got a little bend on the wire here so it doesn't pull through and that is what I'm going to tie the hair to bucktail here all right to get started here I've got my bobbin and uh, thread so I'm going to tie this, you know, this fix, this first knot. You want to get, uh, you want to tie it on here so it doesn't move when you're, when you're pulling the thread on there. So I guess that's a few half hitches there. I'm going to try and cinch that back like that. I'm going to put this tag in this way and wrap around it like this. Then I'm going to do this thing here where I take this and come through and then come through itself here and pull that like that. So basically it's got itself wrapped in there and I just got this hanging from the workbench because it really doesn't hold the tension there I just said here now I'm gonna go you know, get a full bucktail white one this one will be white and I'm gonna cut some hairs on it I'll try and cut about the right amount of hairs that I'm gonna put on here and then I'm gonna finish it off with maybe a little bit of tinsel the first I might put two little white feathers on there. So hang on a second while I get that stuff all, all going. Find that white feather, so I'm going to use some uh, a little red tinsel for that center piece that sticks out the back. I'm going to go gonna wrap it around these four fingers until I get about so much. That's probably about right. I got these scissors here. They got a serrated blade. They're pretty good for cutting hairs. All right, so I got that. Now I'm going to cut it again like that. Try and lay it on here so. The center is like that, then wrap it on. I'm going to come through here. out those little curly cues there now the ends that are going this way I'm gonna pull on this and try and lay them so they're going back with the other ones here and kind of uh, tighten them in there I don't know what to do about that one there. And then I'll come through here like that and then kind of stop or fix that little wrapping there with that knot. So I can go get the white bucktail thread, white bucktail hairs to put on there next. Look for the white bucktail here. I found this marabou. These white feathers were 
in the box with it so I do have some and I'm going to try to get well I'm going to cut that off and that'll be in the center too that piece seems about right Hold it here like this. Come around a few times. And I'm just gonna come through the loop I made with this bobbin three times. Hold this kind of and pull this tight again to secure secure that wrapping okay now I'm gonna get the bucktail here ones I have all they have is that amount left on them I do have this cream colored one I think I'm gonna use these what I can get off of these as I cut little swatches of it off here Get that it's okay to have a little of that natural brown there so that'll be one I'll tie on I see another swatch there there's some Seems like you need a little bit more than than what you think to make it to give that bucktail some body. The ends here are always the longest pieces. These back ones tend to be thicker, so your wrapping is going to be thicker right there. And, you know, I want to keep it kind of a narrow diameter. I don't like that wrapping to be, you know, five inches, five eighths inches in diameter. So you're going to start in layers with this. Maybe two, maybe three layers. You, a layer being you wrap a little bit on, wrap to its side until you're around in the circle. And you move about an eighth of an inch and do the same. That, I think that'll be enough. All right, I'm going to put on my here wind this back on here pretty good take it out from there and I'm gonna get going here starting from this end don't want to get too close to the end because well you're gonna you're gonna have some hairs fall off when you do this oops hang on how to salvage an operation here 
<laughs> it's like ping pong balls are falling in my head right now. All that thread came off my spool quickly. I got a pokey thing. Try and pull that knot up. that well that is why you want to secure any little bit of thread you any bit of hair you put on there as quickly as you can with that knot because what happens is Something like that. This isn't a, it's not a dental pick, it's a round file. Hey, hey, hey. Well, it's good to see you. When things don't go right, too, right? Nobody's perfect. There. Now let's see if that'll tighten up. No, I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm going to power forward. Okay, I'm doing the secure loop here. And one more of those. And your bucktail hairs and threads are kind of porous, so. Once you put that glue on it at the end, whether it's a cyanoacrylate or a specially made glue for fly, fly tying, it goes in there and cements it all, seeps into there. Now, I'm cutting off this little bit you don't want to cut this thread that 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 might be an error you could make i got my mask on here i take it off all right i'm going to call that pretty good for that bit and i'll put this kind of this way of it And I may have to, you know, I'm getting kind of towards the back there. You know, spin this a little bit to make sure I'm not creating any gaps. A nice, even uh, distribution. Securing that with that knot. I'll show you that a little better. Alright. I'm going to tighten that. Yeah. I think I'll cut this little part off. this a little more through here and secure it Okay, 
Now I'm going to find that needle number of pliers I have. Or something like that. Oh, here they are. I'm going to loosen the vise and I'm going to turn this like this. Tighten that a little bit. Put my pliers here again. Crank it. I'm going to tighten back there too so I can see what I'm doing where I'm putting them. See, I gotta come more up here. Like that. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more right away, right there. You're too far back towards the end of it. it wants to fall off the back. I'm coming too far forward. And right now, I've changed modes a little bit. We're behind putting it on quickly. That's three you know, bundles I put on there. Now I'm going to secure it. Back up. And I'm going to loosen this and see what it looks like over here. Yeah, here's a bare spot, too. Secure that. Come around here. Secure it again. All right. Spin that a little bit. Probably should have straightened this wire out better before I used it. You know. That should be good enough to hold that. I'm going to take this piece here, put it right here. Now, before I do that, I'm going to take all this, get it going back in that right direction. Secure it like that. Now, I've got uh, the crazy glue cyanoacrylate. You can buy these little nozzles that have a needle tip. Just a little bit there, you'd put. If you put too much on there, what will happen is this, these hairs will all get hard right there. And it won't, it won't be as a natural effect. I'm going to put this here. Like that. Oh, that's got a nice bowl. Secure this. Like 
that. Sometimes you don't want to tug on what you've done so far because you're going to know you messed up. <laughs> I'm going to take it out of there a second. I kind of like the way that's looking. I did get it a uh, big diameter again. I think... Just a little bit more right here. Then I'm going to add some tinsel there to this. kind of a backlash here on my spool. I really haven't had too many problems with this before. Oh well. Let that sit. Oh, this wall. See if I can't free this. Hear that twice. I'm gonna pull this out of here. I'm gonna trim all all that off of there. You don't want to come anywhere near your wrapping thread. Once you cut into that. I think it's looking pretty nice. Tighten that in. I'm going to get some tinsel here. And I'm going to wrap some of it around my fingers like so. Not too much. I mean, that's probably good. And this is the last of what I'm going to put on here. Alright, I'm going to find my scissors. Cut that like that, just like that. remember how I did the first part I still got my thread going here it's right here so get about half of it that way I'm gonna come around once secure it loosely I'm going to try and move it around a little bit. Then 
I'm going to take this part that's going this way, and I'm going to try and, well, maybe I've seen somebody do it this way once they take this thread, go like that, and you, you kind of get that so you're wrapping it, and it comes out the other side of the work. Well, it's not there yet. Let's try it. Some more rope and pull it. Don't really have it on there tight. I'll pull it back. Alright. Okay. Now, I'm on to my finishing wrap. You know, when I first started making these, I would have a loop of line here. I'd be wrapping over, and then I'd put my end of my wrap through that loop and pull it under all my wrappings to secure it. I haven't done it that way in a while. I guess basically, once you do that, you're you're done. So you can you can do it this other way. With securing it with that coming through like this a few times and then like I said before once you put that whatever cement type you're using on there it sinks into the pores of this and makes it solid you know sometimes I even use fingernail polish I buy at a dollar store as part of the process but I really like to get that cyanoacrylate glue on there. Now, while I was talking here, I kind of slipped that part. Got to be careful because this file will cut it. It's a diamond file. Come on, loosen up. I think I need something else to pry that out of there with. What do I have? What do I have? I need a dental pick. What I need. Oh, I got one. I don't have one with the loop on it though. Because you get this here and you're not going to braid the line and break it as you're trying to. Well. I'm going to have to loosen this. I didn't want to, but to try and figure out how that is. And yeah, it's like a, it's like getting yourself into a jam. There. I hope you can see this. But this is a problem, too. When you tie these, you do not want to come right off the end because then it's all like a, a springy mess where <laughs> all your wrappings are coming loose so you know and I don't really care that I'm not getting my thread wrappings to the end that whatever maybe some fingernail polish there it's, you know it's lacquer based it'll cap it I mean ideally Mix up some epoxy, you put it on those threads, and then you hang it so that part is lowest to dry. Because you don't want that glue coming back that way. Alright. Finishing this up, and I don't want it to fall this way again like it did. And afterwards, if some of these a little bit longer you just trim them I think I can put this is a good place to wrap right here well oh, no, I want to cut them I'll come maybe I'll come back this way once you get back here you can wrap tighter and bow it more and come right there and 
do I care that the little light is showing? Can't see I do. I'm gonna try and secure this. Two or three times and think on the job, right? One, two, three. Think on your feet. And once I get this all done, maybe I'll come back with another video putting it all together. Because this is the main part here, but you know, you got to decide what components you want. You know, I could keep going here with this wrap, but it just gets wider and wider, and I don't really like that. I like, yeah, right there. Now, I'm going to cut it like this and trim it later. Basically, that's... It's done, and I think it looks nice. I mean, you can do the pull test here. Nothing's coming out. You don't want to pull too hard. You want to get your glue on there, man. Whatever that little... I might cut those little black pieces off. I had a real big muskie on a lure like this once. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, and learned something from it and learned from some of the uh, errors I was uh, proofing through on the way too. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, Next comes a wire shaft, a treble hook, a body, clevis, and a spinner blade, or perhaps two. Okay, I've got some of that glue I was telling you about with that tip. I just put a little bit. You can kind of see it coming out, coming towards there. The thing you, yeah, it's coming out. This you can see that. You don't want to overdo it. All right, I'm gonna set that glue to my right. Gonna turn this. If you overdo it, you get an osmotic effect again, where all these hairs get solid. Now, it needs a little on the back part there because it's not saturated there. It's just kind of a duller color. So I, oh, there's threads right there, are not saturated. And, and it looks like I'm being sloppy, but it's still turning out pretty good. That wire I have through this, I bent the hook on each end now. And I'm going to hang it by the tail of it out here. I'm out here in the garage. Yeah, I'm done.